What is up, drum alert nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. We got exclusive footage of Taylor Holder running up on DK Money and Stromedy in the gym, threatening all kinds of stuff. Here's a short clip of that. Roll it. You pick up a pony star filming, or if you start picking up a pony star filming, I'm gonna f all you guys up, right? Keep my name out your fucking mouth, all right? You understand me? I told you once, I told you guys a month ago, I said I'm not the one to f with, all right? I'll pull up on y'all, break your fing jaw right now, all right? You know I don't f play this shit. Yeah, yeah, they gotta knock that sword down. If you do, I'll now listen, we got more of this footage to show you. Let me explain how we get here, all right? DK Money uploaded a video calling out Taylor Holder to a boxing match a couple days ago. Watch this, roll it. Yo, Taylor, since you didn't get paid for your last fight, I know you need some bread. You sold the Rolls Royce, I know I saw that. So I got 100K for you. Bryson Shomley versus you and me, 100K each, let me know. Thank you, Josh Richards. Now, after DK Money posted that video online, we reposted it on the Happy Punch Instagram. And all the boxers follow us over there. So Taylor Holder responds by saying, sold my role for over 200K what I paid for it. I don't need your money. Glad you guys are still trying though. Keep up the hard work. Then the next day, he left another comment saying, couldn't even look at the camera. Hey, Money responded by saying, we're in T Hizzy's head, rent free, comments once, and then 18 hours later, I go. So at this point, I get a call from Taylor Holder where he's like, I'm gonna settle this. I'm gonna settle this and it's not gonna be in the ring. Taylor Holder basically said to me, like, I don't do this drama stuff. Like, you got a problem, let's settle it. And yesterday, Taylor rolled up into the gym to confront DK. Roll it. On your f***ing mouth about me again, say anything about me, I already know you guys have the f***ing cameras, it's all y'all f***ing do. It's all for cameras, it's all for show. It's all y'all f***ing do. This is real life, alright? Okay. I don't f***ing do drama on the internet, I don't do nothing. If you have my name in your f***ing mouth, you're a grown ass man, I'm a grown ass man, I'm gonna come shoot you like a grown ass man, alright? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have DK Money and Stromedy on the line. <laughs> guys, how you doing after you got rolled up on by Taylor Holder? Uh, I'm chilling, Dean. You know, I'm chilling. How about you? <laughs> so, w why did Taylor Holder run up on you in the gym? Like, what? What is this? What? I, okay, so I I played the video where you called him out, right? Yes. What did you say in that video that set Taylor Holder off? Yeah, so I called out Taylor. I yeah. called out Bryce, and yeah. So I'll, I'll say my part, and then I'll let Stromedy say his part. Um. So basically, like, I called him out, and I kind of rewatched the video, and I saw where it was like, kind of very disrespectful, the stuff I said. So, but I just wanted to do a boxing event. Like, that was it. You know, Kim? So, um, and then he took it to the street and stuff. Like, I'm just not about the street stuff. And I just feel like what I said was disrespectful. Like, I respect Taylor. I think he's dope. Like, everything he's doing is dope. He had a boxing match, too. Like, you know, it, it's cool. Um, but, yeah, so whatever you what, what do you think? Uh, no, nah, no. Nah. So, like, we, yeah, we were just training and stuff. It was just me and DK, and we didn't even know he was going to pull up. So, we don't know how that, that footage even got released. We were speculating that maybe somebody, like, fought, like saw him driving yeah, and yeah. followed him. Yeah, well, was, I, him, I, I, I did talk to Taylor Holder, all right? And, and yeah. he – because we got this footage sent to us anonymously, right? And he thinks that you guys did it, you know, because you obviously – Obviously, someone is recording outside of the gym through the window, yeah. and then there's and then there's audio being recorded in the gym. Team, team, for me to do this, I would have to upgrade my talents to Slender Man and fill, roll my arm all the way outside and film it. Like, you know, how, how is that possible? Like, I would actually have to be Slender Man to, to make this possible. DK, let me ask you this question, right? You want to box Taylor Holder. He runs up yeah. to you on the gym and he punks yeah. you. You know, you guys are like, no, 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 no. Like, I, why not just Taylor, fight him right then and there? Because, Keem, I'm not trying to, like, dude, the thing is, he has a personal problem with me due to what I said. I do not have a personal problem with Taylor. So how am I going to get mad? Taylor hasn't seen me mad. He's never seen me mad. I've always been calm with him. How am I supposed to get mad at someone I don't have a personal problem with? He has a well, very personal Well, when he's in your face saying he's going to throw you through a wall, slap you, slap your boys, that yeah. doesn't get you mad? I mean, not really. Not really. Because, you know, like, if he does that, I'll, like, you know, like, it's going to be a bad day on his part. Like, what would happen after? So, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So, 
So I just want to box, box him for an event. How how am I being portrayed as being scared if I want to box him? I want to box him. How, but how, how is that? But he's never he's never going to box you, and it's it's a clout issue, right? You know, he's yeah. way bigger than you, way more popular than you. It just does it would not make sense for him to box you. Um, yeah. So he's not going to box you, and he just. He says in the video, like, hey, you want to call me out? Let's settle this man to man. Like, I don't do this drama stuff. Let's let's just handle it right here. And you yeah, back but- you back down I- saying it's not personal. And now I seen that you guys hired <laughs> you guys hired security guards. Like, yeah, because I just knew automatically once I saw that on Twitter, I knew he was automatically gonna blame me. So from now on, everywhere we go. Uh, AK 47s and stuff. Yeah, there's going to be a guy the size of an absolute. You know what the Staples Center is, uh, Keem, or the Crypto Arena? Yeah. Yeah. Picture an actual human that big carrying an AR 15 everywhere we go. The thing is, look at, I'm not, I'm not scared of Taylor. Like, I'm just scared of the fact that I'm going to be eating my morning chocolate chip waffles outside, enjoying the sunrise, and he's going to come by and start throwing, like, start fucking hitting me with baseball bats. That's how mad he gets. So now I have to have guys walking around, like, with fucking AR-15. Guys, is this is this a joke? Is any of this real? Did Taylor Holder, like, is the whole thing set up to hype something or just content? Or Did Taylor Holder really run up on you guys? Is this all real? No, no. Oh, he really did. He, they, oh, team. He did I mean, work. I think it's real because I'm talking to Taylor Holder over the last couple days, and he's telling me, he's like, I'm going to run up on him. Like, I think it's real. But when you see the footage, there's something about it that's like, eh, this, like I don't know. Are you guys yeah. really going to get armed guards? You're, you're messing around. I know you got a bodyguard. It's the ex-bodyguard of uh, Tyga, right, and, and YG? Yeah, I- but no, it's not just him. It's eight others. Dude, he's eight even looking like the Avengers. You guys like, like, hired eight bodyguards. You're joking. No, no, dude. We do we have that because there's you know like dude, we're 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 becoming you know we're like <laughs> like yo like yeah we have to man. There's gonna be eight people around us with AR-15. That's it. You're that afraid of Taylor Holt? Aren't you worried? Okay, look, look. Okay, let's just let's just put this out in the world. All right, millions of people are seeing this. All right, Taylor yeah. Holder runs up into a gym talks crazy uh you know yeah. trash to your face you guys do nothing right so now you're hiring armed bodyguards like aren't you worried that this makes you look weak in in the eyes of the public nah because dude the, the thing i'm not worried about is look if 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 i have an event taylor holder dk buddy like i will box him that's the thing but he's coming and threatening me to put me in, like team you i'm sure you walk your puppy in the morning right yeah like you're walking your puppy Okay, whatever you have, you know, you go on your morning walk with your coffee or whatever, dude. He's talking about coming up behind you and just bashing your head in. Yeah, like that's a little bit, that's a little bit concerning. You know? But like, that doesn't gonna... make you mad. That doesn't make you mad enough to 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 throw down. No, I will. I, if he wants to box me, I will. Oh, but it has to be in the ring. Now, would you box uh, Taylor Holder with you know just you two in the gym no cameras no nothing just the two of you settle it like men and box would I, you do that I, I mean that's the thing keem like I, I respect taylor that's the thing like i, I actually do i don't have a problem with taylor i actually like taylor the thing is is uh he takes it very personal and um i would just want to do it for an event like there's like there's no point of me doing it because i'm not mad at him <laughs> like well he did say if you mention him and again online, if you say his name again online, he's coming for you. Don't you feel like this interview is like you're you cross Taylor's rules again? I mean, not not really because I'm I'm being like you know I'm a respectful person. Yeah, but the thing is, is we have to like uh, let him know that we didn't film that. Yeah, like, we, we, we have to we, we, we have to come on here and let him know that you know like it's like. Like, That's you know, right. Like, I, I actually don't know who filmed it. We got it sent to us anonymously. We don't know who actually recorded it. Uh, I mean, both of you are in the video, so someone's outside and then someone's recording the audio in and mashing it up. And I, I don't I don't actually know where the source is, but Taylor Holder thinks it's you guys. Yeah, I, I I automatically knew he would think that. That's why we have the guys with the how AR. Could it have been us, dude? Unless there was an actual ghost in there and that place is haunted. Like, yeah. How, how could it have been? Yeah. Recording. I mean, like, Keem, like, you got to, okay, look, Keem, like, do right? take this into consideration, right? Why, why does YG, like, you know, all them walk around with people like that? If, if they're, they're such, like, you know, they're, they're whores, you know what I'm saying? Walk I know, with- but this is, this is internet TikTok drama where, to the point where we got armed guards with AR-15. Keep start, keep start, keep start, keep start, keep start, keep start, listen, listen, listen. How, how come 
Tyga and like all them walk around. They're, they're big bodies, you know. They're sick. Why do they have to walk around with security? Because they got people threatening them when they're eating noodles, man. Like I'm trying to eat my pop and chicken pee, bro. Uh, do you get what I'm saying? All right. Before know? before we end this before we end this interview, do you have anything you would like to say directly to Taylor Holder? Taylor, Taylor, I respect you. You're dope. I, I just wanted to box you for an event, and now I, I, I just need to eat my chocolate chip waffles in peace, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here from DK Money and Stromedy. What do you guys think? Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Uh, Taylor Holder, is he in the right? Is he in the wrong? Or DK Money and Stromedy? Let me know in those comments below. And we read every comment, so we'll get back to you on next Drum Alert on who you guys are siding with. We'll see you tomorrow on Drum Alert.